All right, we want to work through parabolas on the first page of this review. So number one, we want to find the vertex focus directrix and focal width of the parabola. And so as soon as you look at this, hopefully you realize that we're talking about a parabola with a vertex of zero, zero, because we don't have parentheses around X or Y. That's what would cause it to have shifted uh, to some other point. So once you know that, you look at your table for vertex with a zero, zero parabola. And the thing is, is that we want for, to use that table, we want x squared to be by itself. So I need to start this off by multiplying both sides by a negative four so that I can get rid of this fraction on the left side. That'll make it be one x squared on this side, which is just x squared, and then negative four y on the right. This lets me say, well, What's in front of y is 4p, so in this case, 4p equals negative 4, which means that p equals negative 1. p is important because it's in all of the rest of our formulas, so when we find the focus, if you look, if it's uh, x squared, the focus is 0 comma p, so our focus is at 0 comma negative 1. Then we need our directrix. So our directrix for an x squared function is y equals negative p. So y equals a negative negative one, which is a positive one. And then our focal width is the absolute value of 4p. So since 4p was negative four, the absolute value of that is positive four. So our focal width is positive four. So there we have all of our information on number one. On number two, hopefully we look at this and say, hey, this is not at zero, zero. We have shifted to h comma k, which in this case, h is three, k is seven. You know which one's h and which one's k because h always goes with your x value, k always goes with your y value. So our vertex is at positive three comma positive seven. The y is what's squared, so we're going to look at the right column, the right side column of our chart that has parabolas with vertex h, k. So we know our vertex, so we know h and k. Now we need to find out what p is for the rest of this information. So this 4 has to equal 4p because in your formula you can see 4p is what's in front of x minus h. Well, that means that p is 1. So we had kind of some easy values for P to work with, which is nice. Our focus, if we're in the right-hand column, is H plus P. So that's three plus one, which is four, comma K, which is seven. So our focus is at four comma seven. Our directrix, since we're on the right-hand column, is at X equals h minus p. So h is 3. We're going to subtract p, which was 1. 3 minus 1 is x equals 2. And our focal width is the absolute value of 4p. 4p is 4, so our focal width is positive 4. That's 2. On the next two problems, we want to find the standard form of the equation of the parabola using the information they've given us. So if our focus is at 0 comma negative 5, that means that, um, and then our directrix is at y equals 5, that's a situation where we have to have a vertex at 0, 0, because otherwise these two numbers wouldn't be the same. They would be two, like they're the same number but with different signs. So that, that means we have to have a vertex at 0, 0. And so that helps us know what page to look at, which table to look at. We want to look at vertex with zero, zero. And then if this is zero comma negative five, that's telling us zero comma P. And the directrix is telling us Y equals negative P. And from both of those things, we know that we're in our first column, which is X squared equals four P Y. But P, you hopefully can easily see that p has to be negative five from what they gave us because our focus is zero comma p and they gave us zero comma negative five. So where p is, we put negative five, which gives us our equation x squared equals negative 20 y. Um,
Um, this time they gave us our vertex, so that's h and k. They said, hey, it opens to the left. That means that if you look at your parabolas with vertex, vertex h, k, that means that we're on the right right-hand column and our focal width is 18. So remember that our focal width of 18, that equals the absolute value of 4p, which means that 4p can be positive or negative 18. But because they told us it opens left, that's how we know that we want to use the negative of that. 4p equals negative 18. And that actually gives us everything we need because our formula says y minus k which will be y plus 1 squared, equals 4p, which we just said was negative 18. We didn't actually have to solve for p, we just needed 4p. And then x minus h, so x minus 1. So there's our equation right there. And then number 5 is kind of a tricky one. It wants us to write the equation in standard form by completing the square. And then once we've got that, we'll find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix of the parabola. So in order to complete the square on this, the first thing we do is move everything that's not related to our squared term over to the right side. So since x is squared, I'm going to leave x squared minus 10x on this side. I'm going to subtract 8y and subtract 1 over to the right side. Make sure you remember that you have to subtract things over, or if they were already negative, we'd have to add them over. So to complete the square, you take the number in front of x, and you half it, so divide by 2, and then you take that number and you square it. So negative 5 squared is 25. That's what I'm going to add right here so that I can complete the square. And if I add something to one side, I have to do it to both. So I'm going to add 25 on the right side as well. This lets me factor this into x minus 5 times x minus 5, which is x minus 5 squared. That number is always the number that you get after you half what's in front of x. So see that negative 5 is there and that's what's there. On the right side, let's go ahead and add like terms. So negative 1 plus 25 is positive 24. The last thing we need to do to put this in standard form is factor on the right side. Because right now we can't get the vertex from what this is because we've got a negative 8 in front of y. If we take out that negative 8, that puts y minus 3 in our parentheses. We took a negative out of the 24, which made it a negative 3. And you can always check yourself by checking if you distribute, do you get what you had in the line before. So this is the first part of our answer. There's the standard form. Then you would look at that, and just really quickly, we can find the vertex, which is hk. So that's 5 comma 3. We can find the focus and directrix by saying, that negative 8 has to equal 4p, which means p equals negative 2. So our focus, since we've got x squared, is at h comma k plus p. So h comma 3 plus negative 2. 3 plus negative 2 is 1. Our directrix is y equals k minus p. Sorry, our directrix is y equals k minus p, so k was 3, and then we're going to subtract a negative 2. 3 minus a negative 2 is 3 plus 2, which is y equals 5. So that is our whole answer to that problem. Okay, number 6 and 7, we're graphing the parabola, and it says that we want to show the vertex focus and the directrix on the graph. So we need to find those in order to be able to show them. So uh, this first one, that's not exactly in our normal standard form. Normally we have x squared equals, and then that negative would move over to the other side and be negative 8y. And I only say that because uh, that helps us find what 4p is. 4p equals negative 8, and so that means p equals negative 2. So our vertex on this is at 0, 0, and then our focus, since it's an x squared, is going to be at 0, comma p, so 0, comma negative 2. Our directrix is at y equals negative p, so that's y equals positive 2. 
The other thing actually that is helpful is our focal width has to be 8. It's the absolute value of 4p. So our focal width will be 8. Using these things we can get a nice picture of this graph. We know the vertex is 0, 0. We have a focus at 0, negative 2. The directrix is at positive 2. You can put like a solid line for this or a dashed line. It's um, not going to really matter. It's not really an asymptote. It's just a line of reference. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the focal width. So at the focus here at 0, negative 2, our graph is 8 wide, which means it goes 4 to the right and 4 to the left. And then we just draw our parabola through that, like so. Okay, so there's our parabola on that one. Number 7. This one is in standard form. I've got to flip over and look at the other page where our vertex is at hk. So this is h, this is k, this is 4p, which means if 4p equals 2, that means p equals 1 half. If that doesn't make sense to you, then set up your equation and solve it. The vertex is at negative 3, comma, positive 2 because it's opposite signs and 3 is with x. Our focus then is going to be, uh, since this is y squared, our focus is at h plus p comma k. So negative 3 plus a half is negative 2 halves, or you could get a common denominator and put an improper fraction, but negative 3, we're adding a half, so that's negative 2 halves comma 2. And our directrix is at, I just wrote y, but I meant to write x, equals h minus p. So negative 3 minus 1 half is negative 3 halves. So this is kind of tiny and maybe a little difficult to draw. Um, but we've got a dash, or our directrix is at negative 3 half, just right here. But for x, so that's wrong. Oh, snap. Negative 3 halves for x, so that's up and down over here. And then our um, vertex is at negative 3, 2, which is right here. And our focus is at negative 2 halves, comma 2. So halfway between here, and that's going to be hard to show, our focal width is 2, so it's going to go 1 this way and 1 this way. So it gives this little bit of a bit of parabola right here, like this. Now keep in mind that you can also use your calculator to help you graph these by typing it in to y equals and looking at your table of values to help you plot some points. So now, number 8. Now, the thing is, is on this, a lot of times you may think they're telling you about the focus, but they're not. They're just telling us about this point over here and this point over here on the parabola. That's what the 20 and the 1 here are telling us. This point, since it's 20 all the way across, would have to be 10, 1. This point would be negative 10, 1. Now, we only actually need one of those points. We need to think about a parabola formula with a vertex at 0, 0, opening up, so the standard form for that is x squared equals 4py, and then remember that these points they gave us are x comma y, so you can plug in 10 for x, or negative 10, whichever one you feel like, and 1 for y, and then solve, and that gives us p so that we can find how far it is to the focus. So we get p equals 25, and think about it, the focus is the distance from, or p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, so our answer is 25 meters.